Well, what, what about your own mortality? Uh, because you're so familiar with death itself, it, mo most people, they, they're, they're afraid. They don't even want to think about the day that they are going to die, which we all know that day will come. Uh, you deal with it every single day. So this is, I mean, you can't get away from it. Uh, are you like most people who uh, choose not to think about your own mortality or, you know, have you developed some type of relationship or, or comfort with the fact that I'm, I'm, I'm going to one day leave here. I, I, I kind of know what goes on after um, in the immediate after until they put me in the ground. That's interesting uh, that you ask. Uh, when I was born, okay, I was born in 1934. And as I got to thinking about death in an early age, I wondered, and the, the, uh, the when I was born, the, the expected life expectancy was about 50, 60 years of age. You know, I think 60 was, uh, was a life expectancy uh, back then. Um, I thought, would I, could I possibly live long enough to see the year 2000? That was what my thing. If I could live, that would I would outlive my life expectancy if I reached the year 2000. And I must say, I was very happy when I got to the year 2000. And ever since then, every time I wake up in the morning, I'm glad to be awake. I know I'm in an area at a time when I'm any day I could die from just whatever at my age. I'm out, I've outlived my life expectancy. And uh, I think that should I die in my sleep or whatever, the most common reason people die at uh, uh, my age is, is heart, uh, heart disease and heart attacks. Uh, the person who's dying uh, doesn't have any, uh, any um, feeling about it. The person dying is dead and whether he, uh, no matter how he dies, he or she is not uh, in any pain, no, no conscious pain. And uh, my feeling is, uh, when I, I'm, somehow I'm thinking of a Clint Eastwood comment about uh, when he married this uh, very young woman. The story is that uh, somebody says, you know, uh, when you, people die while having sex, do you worry about it? And then he said, well, if she dies, she dies. <laughs> so uh, so uh, my, my thing is, uh, I, my family's prepared that I'm going to be dying uh, uh, one of these days, and uh, uh, I'm not going to be in any pain or uh, or anything. And so I, I look upon death as uh, a necessity for life to go on. You know, <clears throat> we we're all made of hydrogen and other elements and all that stuff, and they go back out and uh, uh, they they help somebody else uh, uh, develop all these. Uh, uh, atoms going around and molecules going around. Uh, I'm, I'm a deep believer that chemistry is what holds us all together. When we do an autopsy, all of the different muscles and organs, liver, heart, I mean, they're all different. Heart muscle, heart cells and muscle cells and kidneys, nerve cells, they all know where to go in our body. The trillions of our cells know where to go in the body. And then when we die, they, they come apart. I, I am not a religious person. I don't believe about that. I don't flutter my mind with whether I go to heaven or hell. That's not one of my- and Is this is this something uh, you have, is this a way that you've always been or is it because you, you spent your life with science and, and uh, you know, as as a, a person in the medical profession, you, you guys are, are pretty much taught that when 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 the body dies, that's it. The, 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 the consciousness shuts down and it's pretty much over. That's my that's my uh, what I thought pretty much uh, all my uh, uh, life is that uh, we're here for a certain amount of time. And when we're dead, it's, it's all over. And uh, uh, except the, the kinds of information we give our family. You know the the that uh, our lives uh, cease. Uh, we don't have any uh, uh, concern. I don't have any concerns about the after the afterlife. It makes it easier to die that way too. I'm sure it does. 
Dr. Biden, I appreciate your time, buddy. Um, again, I learned so, so much from you. Um, your book, American Autopsy, where can we get it? It's it's, it's on Amazon. It's, it's supposed to be in the bookstores uh, uh, now. It just came out uh, last month. And I think that uh, the important thing is, and the important, uh, why I think it's so important for me to be talking to you, uh, Sean, is that there have got to be changes made in how uh, police, medical examiners, prosecutors, and the community work together to make sure that uh, unnecessary deaths can be prevented and that uh, there is a severe problem that has social uh, social issues. And when you said that, uh, talked about O.J. Simpson, o. J. Simpson what, what showed to me was was uh, the extent the extent of the black white division in this country. I knew there was a division. I didn't even realize how. And then when I started introspection and looking at my work, I realized how um, extensive that division is in 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 my own forensic pathology medical examiner situation. That because of different loyalties as we grow up. Uh, uh, if we're loyal, that we feel we're part, that the medical design is part of the police trip, uh, tripod stool, that we're creating a big part of the problem. And I think one of the solutions has to be is that the medical examiners who call the causes of death have to be independent of police and prosecutors and, and, and of the defense attorneys and just uh, call the death as they are and not struggle to whitewash what happens when deaths die during police uh, contact, which only uh, creates uh, more division, not less division. When, when you know that somebody that you knew in the neighborhood died because uh, uh, he was beaten up by police, but <clears throat> I know, I don't know that because uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, uh, as a, a citizen, uh, um, I don't read about those things. Now the social media has, has educated everybody better. And I think that there's a good chance with social media uh, that uh, educates everybody what's going around the whole country, the whole world, uh, that we're seeing that there are these divisions that are not apparent to us when we're just in our own little silo. In the, when I started out, if there was a mur murders in, uh, in uh, Brooklyn, uh, wouldn't be known to people in Manhattan, you know, that... Uh, now, uh, of course, that's all changed with social media, and I think that's for the better because we have to now use all the things that have been gathered by witnesses that were ignored in the past to deaths in, in police custody are uh, taken into account in devising strategies to prevent these deaths in the future. You know, I, I, I love the fact that um, th you're so passionate. Um, because this is greater than obviously forensic pathology. Um, Good. We're it, just it, a part of the problem. Yeah, it, and it's 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 it, you know it's admirable. It really is. Admirable. Even as I listen to you speak, uh, you you realize that your profession has been part of the problem, um, and you're using your platform, your voice. Uh, your ability to to write books like uh, American Autopsy to shine light on a greater problem. Um, so, so the fact that you are so passionate uh, just about bringing light to to these inequalities that have been just commonly accepted for for, for many years. Police are right, the bad guys are wrong, uh, and and they can never get it wrong. I, I applaud you. I really do. I, I, I think that it is great that you're doing it. Uh, and, and I wish that there are others um, who are, are in high profile positions like yourself and can get their message out and their thoughts out that, that would do the same. So so congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. And thanks for helping spread the word that uh, we can improve what's happening uh, if we put our minds to it. I will absolutely do my part again on, on, on behalf of myself and everybody who um, this 
conversation will come into contact with. I, I, I thank you, Dr. Biden, for all that you do and all that you've been do doing for over a, a half a century now. Um, thank great you. job, continue. continue. Thank you very much, Sean. Then it's really good seeing you again. All best. Likewise, likewise. Stay healthy. The virus is well. coming. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're looking good. I, I I can only help to stay healthy and, and, and look like you at your age, brother. You be well, Dr. Bod. You too. All best. Uh, stay safe. Likewise. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move, and I'll catch you all on the next video.